Hello everyone. In this episode, we are going to see how a RPA bot that uses Twitter to understand how people are feeling about a topic that we choose. Human preferences are practically unpredictable. The scientific studies such as sociology and psychology help us to understand the human emotions, relationships and behavior that they display. Generally, psychologists formulate a hypothesis and do experiment with humans. However, data scientists use a psychology tool like Twitter. Twitter is a treasure of sentiments. People around the world put thousands of reactions and opinions. We can extract valuable information from Twitter using the power of machine learning also. Sentiment analysis works on the basis of tokenization. That is, an input of sync is segmented individually which in turn becomes a bag of words. Then each word will get a sentiment value from sentiment lexicon which is already pre-recorded. Steps in this video. 1. Create an API for Twitter app. 2. Create the bot. 3. Run the bot. I'll post the link in the description to create a Twitter app. We are creating that a Twitter app for authentication purpose which is made possible by Twitter by generating a customer key and access token and their respective secret codes. So now let's jump into the code. This particular code block will actually consume the customer key, its secret, access token and its secret and will fetch the tweet from the input query. Here I am giving the input query as artificial intelligence. It will also give the polarity and the subjectivity. Polarity is the measure of positivity or negativity. Subjectivity is the measure of how much opinion it is and versus the how much it is factual. So this particular block of code will give me a text output and I am going to convert the text output into a data set using these particular lower blocks. So now let's run the code. So the code is hitting the Twitter app and with the search query artificial intelligence. So we are get, getting intermediate outputs like polarity, subjectivity, tweet and subtweet. And final output will be the an analysis collection. Let's wait till the code ends. Yeah, the execution has ended. Let me open the text output. So this is actual text which we receive for the query artificial intelligence. I'll show you in readable format. And now let's go to the data set. So these are the tweets and these are the corresponding polarity and subjectivity. The positive polarity means it is acceptable and negative polarity means the people generally dislike the topic. So we see a many dislikes for artificial intelligence and few likes for artificial intelligence. So that's it. I'll meet you with an another interesting topic with RPA in coming days. Till then, I'm signing off. It's Vishal, a RPA developer.